Greetings, it's Jerry here. So today we're going to be looking at this solar light. Now I want to make this clear from the very beginning that this light here has been treated terribly by me. I bought it about seven months ago and I never got around to installing it. I simply took it outside and I placed it flat down on top of my garden wall and this thing has been watered on by my watering system and rained upon sitting upright like this. It's not designed for that. It's designed to be like this. Um, and not only that, but it was actually in a bit of a divot on the garden wall. And so there was water surrounding it and it was basically sitting in a small puddle of water. And uh, it worked for six months, seven months. I don't really know. And so I just wanted to point out that it has been poorly mistreated. Um, this is not a review of how well it works, although I'll, I'll tell you that right now that I love this thing. Of course water got into it. How much water got in, you know, how bad is it on the inside? Um, let's consider this to be a torture test video where I have unwittingly tortured this poor little solar light until it has stopped working. So this is what I got. I bought it off Timu. I paid the princely sum of $6 for it. And I just wanted to try it out because I do need some lights for outside. It's been a long time since I've used a solar light and I wondered what you get for $6 uh, because this seems to be a very popular type of light. And you know what? You get a great light for six dollars. Um, it's incredibly bright. It's got all these LEDs um, on it. It's got the inbuilt solar panel. It's got an on-off button and switching between modes. It has a sensor light which you can put it into sensor mode so it will only turn on when it senses something walking past. Yes it's built down to a price but I'm very impressed with it and I didn't want to go and buy you know, 10 of them, which is probably what I need, uh, without testing it. But unfortunately that test is now null and void because I never got around to actually testing how long it takes to charge, how long the light lasts, you know, and of course how long it lasts if you put it the right way up instead of sticking it inside a puddle and, and essentially allowing the watering system to rain on it every single day. But I guess as a torture test, that's not a bad thing. So please keep that in mind uh, when we look into this. I have mistreated this very badly. I am actually quite impressed with it and I'm definitely going to buy another one, if not more, uh, because I think it's a great device. Now I'm just assuming that water has gotten into it. I'd be very impressed if it hadn't. And it is always possible that if it was up this way, that water would still get into it. You know, it's pretty well designed so that there are slight overhangings and things like this um, that would actually protect these parts of the, the light uh, from water ingress. Uh, but I have no idea whether or not there's any sort of rubber seals or anything like that in it. So we're going to have to pull it apart and take a look. So just a quick reminder, if you like this sort of stuff, think about subscribing to my channel. Um, I make playlists of all the different types of videos that I make. So there'll, there'll be a playlist of teardowns uh, in there if you want to see more stuff that I have pulled apart. Okay, so let's get on with it. First of all, let me just go over it. I don't see any actual water ingress inside from this, this point. Um, all the LEDs look okay. They're super bright. There's no filter on this, so you get a really bright light. The uh, solar panel that's just a bit of packaging I never got around to removing. The solar panel looks all right. Um, it's really obviously here that I'm worried about because it was designed to be up that way. So it shouldn't have been sitting in a pool of water and you can see that the screws have really been rusted out. Um, I guess they could have used stainless steel screws, but hey, $6 remember. So let's see if we just can't remove these. So self-tapping screws, still reasonably intact. 
Okay, so we've got one there that might be so bad that we can't get it out. Let's just um, use some force to get this apart. Okay, so we've literally broken it out of its hole. Okay, so I've just zoomed down. And what I'm seeing is there doesn't appear to be any water ingress at all. That's quite amazing, really. There's no rubber seal or anything, but I guess where this was sitting, it is recessed by a couple of millimeters. So, and the circuit boards are all mounted at the top. So, um, you know, a little bit of water underneath it uh, couldn't make its way up inside. So that's interesting. So what do we got here? We've got these panels of LEDs and they appear to be glued in place. We have our battery. Of course, this is going to have no charge and this might actually be the problem that simply it's a you know, low quality battery, which is what you would expect, 400 milliamps and um, yeah, it's just failed and maybe everything else does work. I can see some rust on these screws on the inside, so definitely hasn't been completely without dampness inside. Yeah, there's not a real lot in here to rust, I guess. It's a very small circuit board. So the markings on that are KS-G100. I might just remove those screws and see what happens. Yeah, so you can see there's a bit of rust on these screws. Yeah, and that's just a little circ... Oh, yeah. Okay. So there we go. There's our problem right there. So water has apparently gotten in via the mode button. Now once again, I'll just say it again, if this thing was sitting on its side like this, then the water would probably go down more like this. And it did have this little um, waterproof grommet on it. So it's either come through here or it's come through here because this doesn't have a waterproof grommet on it. It does have a lip. Um, oh no, it does. Is that right? What's that? No, that's the sensor. Yeah, so that's just a plastic thing that goes over the sensor. Yeah, so that's gotten inside and I'm not surprised about that at all because like I said, it was sitting up like this instead of on its side. Let's see if there's any life left in this battery. Yes. So it's pretty low, 2.7. So that should be what, 3.7? So yeah, so the battery hasn't failed. So I've always looked at these things and gone, you know what, um, wouldn't these make great housings for electronic outdoor electronics projects? You know, with your inbuilt battery and with your solar charging, you know, even light, you could use the light as an indicator of something. And I'm actually reasonably impressed with this. Um, we'll see if we can remove some of these panels and see how that's put together. So you can see that there are little pins here also glued once they're slid into place. Hmm, I don't think they are. I think, well, at least that one isn't. I think that is just um, using these plastic standoffs. Yeah. So these standoffs might be heat staked or something like that. They just all come off. There we go. Hmm. I'm immediately thinking, hey, is that a Christmas light project right there? <laughs> Yeah, they've already got the Christmas tree shape. Um, wow, and that's all there is to it. So they've got these plastic holders that sit behind the plastic shield. And um, 
you know we've got the solar light solar panel just built into that you know for six dollars there's a lot of components in here a battery some lights a solar panel this is a great thing for hacking away at I would I would think you know and the fact that it lasted so long with being mistreated in the way that it was uh, gives me hope that this is is re really a good type of light I'm going to have to get another one and I'm going to have to mount it properly and uh, then see how it goes uh, before I commit to buying 10 or something of them um, but yeah there we go so I wonder is that producing electricity if you have a, a solar panel under an indoor light it will produce electricity right you know, is there anything coming out of that so s s negative and s positive So we're getting 1.9 volts just sitting here on the bench under a, a lead lamp so I think that the um, the solar panel is quite good everything about it is is cut down to a price but also fairly awesome definitely the sort of thing that a hacker could lay into I would love to see whether or not I could use this for some sort of outdoor project. I shall have to think about that. Okay, so that's it really. A nice autopsy of this device. I'm loving it. I'm going to buy another one. If you like this sort of content, think about subscribing to my channel, checking out my other videos, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.